Welcome to Clarendon Ranch. Okay, so we have just gone under the the uh, archway of Clarendon Ranch, and you mentioned that there's a school over here. So. Yeah. So uh, the developer of the subdivision, um, I don't know if they gave or sold or gave them a discount on this land, but this piece of property that you're looking at is the Clarendon School. It's it's a Montessori school. Uh, and it goes from preschool all the way to high school. So if you wanted to go to private school and it's right in the neighborhood. So as you, so this corner piece is the, is the school, but um, right across the street, which you can't see right now, but there are homes across the street. Um, and so let's talk about Clarendon Ranch. So there are 112 homes uh, in this neighborhood. There's some big houses in this neighborhood. Uh, the average square footage of the homes in this neighborhood are 5,959 square feet. So Ooh, just shy of big homes. 6,000 square feet. Wow. Uh, most homes have five bedrooms. Uh, this was a kind of a mid 2000 subdivision. So this was mid, uh, built in, average home were built in 2006. So in this neighborhood, you're gonna see a lot of homes that did go with the old world style. Here's one for instance, you know, with all that stonework. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, in 2019, you could buy a home for one million two hundred ninety-three thousand. So just just shy of a million three. Today, one million nine hundred thirty-eight thousand. As a fifty percent increase. Wow! Uh, just in a couple of years. Unbelievable. Um, so, you know, just about every home in this neighborhood is sitting on a one-acre lot. Uh, there is some undulation to this neighborhood. There's some hills. There's uh, almost like forests in this neighborhood. Right now we're kind of in a, uh, a very open area. But as you can see, kind of the backyards, you see those trees. And so some of the houses back in there have more trees. Uh, but we just happen to be in an area that is, is open area. So we're going to go to the least expensive home currently on the market um, in just a minute. So stay tuned. Okay, so we pulled up to the least expensive listing here in Clarendon Ranch. James, tell us a little bit more about this property. Yeah, so we're actually in a, in a, a little section called the Cliffs at Clarendon Ranch. It's, a, it's kind of one of the last uh, parts of the subdivision that were developed. Um, and you'll actually see some cliffs when we leave this house. Uh, so this property is 3532 Matador Ranch Road in South Lake. It's currently listed for $1,199,000. It's a little on the smaller side compared to the rest of the homes in the, in the neighborhood. But uh, this one is 4,444 square feet. Not small by any means, but small for the neighborhood. Uh, it was built in 2008. It's four bedrooms, five baths, has a pool, three car garage, and it sits on a 0.46 of an acre. Um, and so it, it's right in the middle of the old world style but this one seems to be a l on the lighter side of the old world style not such heavy detail with spires and spikes and and uh you know a tremendous amount of stonework so this is probably the least of the old world style well, we're going to go up here in just a second and show you these the cliffs which gives it the name uh so you can kind of see why they named it that Oh yeah, and they so they they built a park here, uh, right up against the cliff, so you can kind of see. The oh, that's there. cool! All right, so back up, so we can actually zoom in here. So um, this is pretty cool. So I thought it was an exaggeration. I'm like, why do they call it the cliffs? I don't see any cliffs, but I actually see cliffs. Yes. So there you go. And you were saying that's kind of reminiscent of the hill country, right? Right. Yeah. This you'd see down in the central part of Texas. Yeah. Look at that. That's a trophy property for sure. That's nice. Okay, so why do I feel like we're in, uh, you know, a French chateau? <laughs> well, they got deer and lions and oh. spires and wow, it's like a castle. It does look so like a castle. So this is the old world style homes that they built. Uh, this street has several. Uh -huh. I'm thinking they're ten thousand square feet, eight thousand wow. square feet. I mean, that one's really big. The one next to it is big, but it looks a little smaller. Mm -hmm. And then I believe this one here. Yeah, this one coming up is 12,000 square feet. Okay. 
12,000 yeah, square one feet. One of these three along here are like 12,000 square feet. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. Unbelievable. Oh man, that is a lot of rooms to clean. That's <laughs> yes, a lot of bathrooms. Absolutely. Oh, this one has, is that stained glass? No, it's just kind of reflecting off of that. Wow, it's really nice. Yeah, so that one wow. street right there, we just went down. It's yeah. Big houses. Holy smokes. Okay, so we're pulling up on the most expensive listing here in Clarendon Ranch. So James, tell us about this home. Yeah, so you're currently looking at 300 Clarendon Ranch Road in South Lake. It's uh, currently listed for 1650000 it is a 5,288 square foot home built in 2004. It's 1.1 acre. Um, it's five bedrooms, four bath. It has a pool, has a three car garage. It's near the front of the neighborhood. Um, but uh, one thing I did want to mention about Clarendon Ranch. So Clarendon Ranch sits on the line between two school districts. So. Yes, we're still in South Lake, but two school districts um, are kind of dividing this neighborhood a bit. Mm -hmm. So on the south side of the neighborhood is Carroll ISD, and on the north and west side of the subdivision, it's Northwest Independent School District. But because it's in the city of South Lake, you can uh, transfer or request to go to the Carroll school district they just won't get you by a school bus you have to get find your way to, to the closest school so um so your sh your chauffeur has to take you to school yeah right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mom's taxi exactly so uh yeah that's the only thing when you're in uh what we call the open enrollment uh district or part of south lake you have to enroll every year and um so far from what i've heard from the school district they haven't denied anyone yet okay 